And coconut, nope. Johnson here and today we're gonna make chocolate cupcakes. They're delicious and vegan and you're gonna love them. So what you're gonna to need to make the cupcakes is olive oil, vanilla, chia seeds, baking powder, baking soda, and salt, sugar, brown sugar, and white sugar. You're gonna need soy milk and then you're gonna to need to find your own uh, sour cream vegan base. You're gonna need flour and cocoa powder. First, we're gonna add three quarters of a cup of flour to our mixing bowl. We're basically gonna put all the dry ingredients in here. Then you're gonna add your half a cup of cocoa powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, three quarters of a teaspoon of baking powder, and then a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. One third cup of olive oil. You can also use coconut oil, which gives it a nice little subtle flavor. I know I do this, knowing it's not good for me. I, I just know I do this, but, but I love it. I don't care, I don't care. One quarter of a cup of soy milk. One quarter of a cup of vegan sour cream. Two teaspoons of vanilla. Half a cup of white sugar. And half a cup of brown sugar. So this is uh, one and a half teaspoons of chia seeds and two and a half tablespoons of water. to our dry mixture and beat it together. And you wanna blend it so all the chia seeds are mostly ground up so they won't have a crunch in the cupcakes. We don't want a crunch in the cupcakes. Dude, it basically looks like caramel. I'm like totally thinking of caramel right now. Maybe I should make caramel later. <laughs> that is vegan. getting a smell of this? No, I haven't caught a smell of it yet. You haven't caught a smell of this? It's like really great over here. You're missing out. <laughs> sugar and we're gonna soften up some butter and put that in there. soy milk to it. I got this frosting exactly where I want it. And you don't want it to be too liquidy because then it won't keep its form on the cupcakes. There we go. That's just right. Now the key with this thing is like, you want to avoid bubbles in here. So you can either burp your thingy, I don't even know what it's called. Um, or you can pack it in just right, which is what I'm doing. Now one bit of frosting 
will be left behind. Not one man left behind. If you want it to like maintain its form, it's gotta be really specific. It's like, you want it to have form, but you want it to still be like, this part's the pretty part. I like to twist it to just give it some pressure so that way as I squeeze it comes right out. Frosting to spare. I would go for something with a lot of frosting, but I love a lot of frosting. I'm a big fan. Okay. I can do frosting. Then like one of these two is looking good. I like that one. Take it. Take All it. Right. All right. That's the best way to dispatch this. Brilliant. Okay. I think I did get this out right. All right. Wow. So like right when I bite into it, I get like the, the sort of creaminess of the frosting, and then it just gets really moist right in the middle. Oh my gosh. A really rich chocolate, like chocolate flavor. This makes me so happy. <laughs> oh, and it's, it's just sweet enough. Oh god. Yeah. Successful. Oh, okay. this is brilliant. Are you satisfied? More than satisfied. <laughs> okay.